you have gained such powers that you can move the sun and the moon from their courses, or break the earth into pieces, or make all people wealthy, but if you have no love in your heart, you have achieved nothing. As long as you feel pain in your body and mind, keep trying to remove the pain of an ant too. This was told by none but Thakur Onukul Chandru, who was born in Himayatpur village of Pabna district of undivided Bengal of British India in 1888. His father, Shib Chandru, was known for his honesty, sincerity and noble heart. Onukul Chandru's mother, Monomohini Devi, had a majestic personality, whose motherly love was not only for her own children, but was unconditionally showered upon all the villagers. Monomohini Devi only named a son as Onukul after a poem composed by herself, a name that would shine beyond all geographical and mortal boundaries to enlighten the hearts of millions. As he was growing up, Onukul Chandru became naughty, sometimes unmanageable. But his love for his mother was incomparable. The little boy would be always ready to walk any length to make his mother happy. His mother became very angry with Onukul Chandru due to some of his naughty acts. Monomohini Devi started chasing Onukul Chandru with a cane stick. Onukul Chandru started running fast to escape from obvious beating by his mother. But after some time, Onukul Chandra looked back and observed. His mother was sweating like anything and breathing fast. Onukul Chandra stopped then and there and surrendered himself to his mother. A few strokes of cane stick would be less painful for him than seeing his mother exhausted. Right from his childhood, Onukul Chandra had a strong scientific mindset. He would not accept anything that would fail to show a logical ground to it. In the school, one day, mathematics teacher asked him the simplest of arithmetic problems. What will be the result if we add one and one? But this simple question confused Onkul Chandru a lot. He answered, it would be two, one, but definitely not two. His logic being, no two things in the world are the same. There is a little difference even between two leaves of the same tree. Hence, when no two things are identical, how is addition possible? On his way back from school, while it was raining heavily, Onukul Chandra noticed that an old blind man had fallen into a deep ditch by the side of the village road. Water was flowing over the poor man as he was struggling to survive and was crying for help from Almighty but his voice was gradually dying away. Onukul Chandra rushed to the spot and lifted him up on his own shoulder and took him to a nearby home for nursing. The old man got a new life. There are numerous such examples of his kind acts performed throughout his life. In fact, he could not appear for his 10th standard board examination as he gave his own examination fee to his friend who was struggling to gather money for the sale. After the school life, Onukul Chandru was admitted to National Medical College at Kolkata, where he studied medicine with great financial difficulties. Finally, he returned to his native land, Pabna, and started practicing medicine. Very soon, he earned tremendous reputation as a doctor in and around his village. While practicing medicine, Onukul Chandru realized that illness is not only in the human body, but it exists heavily in people's mind. With love and empathy, Onukul Chandra transformed the lives of those who were otherwise unwanted and neglected in the society. People had begun regarding Onukul Chandra as their friend, philosopher and guide. Onukul Chandra formed a group of people and engaged them in the performance of devotional songs or kirtans and dance to its rhythm. Many a time while performing these songs and dances, Onukul Chandra would get into a trance-like state with all prominent signs of life being absent from his body. In the time of trance, 
holy messages used to come out spontaneously like a fountain from his mouth in different known and unknown languages. After this trance state era, which continued for nearly five years, Onukul Chandra concentrated for the development of self and society, for existence and enhancement. He drove himself into action to initiate various constructive activities and simultaneously was continuing his efforts towards man-making. Slowly, he established school, college, medical facilities, science institute, engineering workshop, bank, wind electricity, cottage industries, art institute, printing press, and many more in that remote village of Pabna. Thakur Onukul Chandro started spreading his ideology of being and becoming, which means existence and enhancement of life. Thousands of people accepted him as their living guide or guru. Simultaneously, Thakur Onukul Chandro started giving messages mainly in Bengali and English. Around 20,000 of these messages were later published as books. His messages encompass a wide range of affairs like politics, science, education, spirituality, society, literature, conjugal life, law and administration, eugenics and more. In 1946, Thakur Onukul Chandru relocated to Deogar, currently in the state of Jharkhand in India, from Pabna, due to health problems and other reasons. There, he continued with similar establishments for the welfare of mankind. Thakur Onukul Chandru used to believe that death is a curable disease and conceptualized the idea of a machine called vibrometer which he believed could infuse life into the body of a dead person. At different points of time, people from different fields came to Pabna and Deoghar Satsang Ashram and interacted with Thakur Onukul Chandra on various aspects. Amongst them were Mahatma Gandhi, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Deshobhuntu Chittaranjan Das, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Shama Prasad Mukherjee, scientist Satyendra Nath Bose, statistician Prashanta Chandru Mohalanobis, W.S. Yurkhart, literateur Sharath Chandru Chatterjee, freedom fighter Bipin Chandru Pal, Fazlul Haq, Rohini Choudhury, Gopinath Bordului, magician P.C. Shorkar, and Lal Bahadur Shastri. Many of them accepted Thakur Onukul Chandru as their living guide. Onukul Chandra's clarity and conception on various matters, ranging from kitchen to politics, agriculture to education, medicine to religion, science to society, used to impress the intellectual communities in the country as well as abroad. Above all, they were deeply touched with his loving attention, care, and childlike simplicity. Commoners ridden with problems in everyday life used to come to him day and night in search of solace. Pronukul Chandro wanted that every person should have an ideal or guide in his or her life and must love and follow the ideal for the betterment of life. We must live and help others to live. Simultaneously, each of us must meditate the holy name in the proper way to attain supreme consciousness within us, which is the final goal of human life. Thakur Onukul Chandro breathed his last at the age of 81 in 1969 at Deoghar. His mortal life ended, but Thakur continues to live in millions of hearts, illuminated with his igniting touch. His contribution to the betterment of human life and his teachings on the art of living will always be treasured by his numerous followers.
he said, roll on, like a flood over the sorrows, sufferings and calamities of the world, with love, sympathy and service, and with message of beloved the Lord, with a knowledge and activity that illuminates the way of the dull and deteriorating depressed, flow on, extremely unresting and undisturbed, establishing the kingdom of peace and happiness. and conversation of my Guru which I have myself availed the opportunity to meet with him and to hear his words. At that time I was reading in City College in 1949. I was living in Nobin Lane near College Street. I was working rather in this evening in College Square. Suddenly I found a man. He is an American. I don't know him. Next, I have known that he is Mr. Spencer, Edmund Spencer, a devotee of Sri Sri Thakur In 1945, he was initiated and till then, he was remaining with Sri Sri Thakur. Anyway, I have a query in my mind from the very boyhood, from my student life. How shall we be a perfect man? I asked this question to my father, to my mother, to my well wishers, even to many a professor. But I could not get any satisfactory answer. Then I asked him, can you tell me how shall I be a perfect man? Professor was astonished to hear this thing. Suddenly he said to me, I shall not be able to ans give answer to this question. I have one man. He is anointed one with love. He remains in Deoghar. He is my Jesus. You can go to Deoghar and ask this question to Sisi Thakur only. I think he will be able to give answer to your question. Accordingly, I don't know. After the examination of my ISC, I have gone to Deogar with a friend of mine. His name is Birnanath Koyal in 1949. I have not much money with me. I sold some books of mine. And with that amount, with those amount I have started. And just I saw Sisi Thakur there. He was sitting in an ashram which is called Jyoti Ashram. I came before Sisi Thakur and I was astonished to see that Mr. Spencer was also sitting there in one side. As soon as Spencer saw me, he just tried to introduce me with Sisi Thakur. Thakur, I seen Moni in Calcutta, he has come here to ask you a question. Then. I took courage and very humbly 
with a folded hand. In an attitude, in a praying attitude, I asked him, Thakur, will you kindly tell me how shall we be a perfect man? Thakurji remained silent for a while, praising towards me. Begin to say, if you wish to be a man, you need a guide. You must have untottering, undomitable, and unrepealing adherence that is love for him. Then Thakur says again, our complexes Kam, Krod, Lok, Mod, Moham, Ashtarja. These are our complexes. Thakul says, our complexes drag us towards downward. But if you have attraction, you have an attachment for that superior beloved, for your guide, all your complexes, remind it, I tell you, will be adjusted. And due to ardent love, due to unrevealing adherence, and igniting touch of love for him, inner traits will be awakened. And I say, the individuality that means Okondo Bektitto to see everybody as per their own characteristics, that is individuality. And individuality will be taken in this way. You will be a man of the Lord. You will be a man of the superior beloved. You will be a man of him. the symptoms of Purushottam, what are those? He says that Purushottams are abnormally normal. Secondly, they are wisely foolish. Third thing, Thakurji said, they are gorgeously simple. They are the fulfillment of individual characteristics. One is abnormally normal, wisely foolish, gorgeous is simple, fulfiller of individual characteristics. I begin to start with the fact that I have seen in 1961. That was a very golden day to me and to us all. It was 1961, 20th September. Mr. James Michael 
was a very renowned journalist of America. He has come to India. James Michael came to Thakurwari and just he has a tour around the Thakurwari for a few minutes and then he came to Sisi Thakur. Thakur was then seated in a tasu. It is a very good climate in the morning. Mr. James comes to Sisi Thakur with a very loving face and he says to Sisi Thakur, Thakur, I see the atmosphere of the ashram and find it was very quiet, calm and beautiful. Mr. James says to Sisi Thakur, the igniting feelings and love that I feel in the astronomic atmosphere, I am overwhelmed. And I think if at least one tenth share of this love and feeling would remain in this world, the world would have changed. The men of the world would be peaceful and happy. Mr. James, holding his hands, says to Sisi Thakur, I like to put you one question. I am really very glad to see your ashram. Will you kindly tell me in a word or two the philosophy or the idea of Sasong which is established here? Tell me only in a word or two the philosophy of Satsang. In a nutshell, Mr. James asked this question to Sisi Thakur. Sisi Thakur remained silent for a while, as if he is thinking about the matter, but it was so easy to him, his face indicated this. Very automatically and very fluently and spontaneously, Sisi Thakur saying, Be concentrated. Mr. James was warmed, overwhelmed. He was at a loss to hear this. His eyes gleamed and he was brightened. He was cheerful to hear such a Precious things, precious words from the mouth of Sisi Thakur, Anukulu Chandra. Be concentric. Be concentric means be attached with a superior beloved. Be attached with an ideal and move on following him in on him. This is the meaning of be concentric. After this, Mr. James said to Sisi Thakur that he liked to be initiated. I like to be a disciple. I like to know the philosophy of such song to initiation. Please give me the initiation. One of our Guru I said to Sisi Thakur, Thakur, you always say man, man, man. But man does not like this way. 
man does not like dharma how can we collect so many people for you then sri thakur said a very important thing very amazing thing very astonishing thing a thing which must be followed by us have you seen dumbol do you know dumbol dumbols mean a little quantity of card a very little quantity of card if that very little quantity of card can be mixed in a bucket of milk within after few hours the milk will transfer to card the milk will be card due to the action of that dumbbell very tries to make us understand that there should be some persons who will be like dumbbell as dumbbell uh, can turn a bucket of milk into card so some people who can turn the atmosphere of this world also what are the symptoms of those thakur ji in 1948 thakur ji says that to recruit at least 40 leader type workers he said number 1 see of sincere and dependent adian secondly presence of mind with common sense third intelligent and untrustling active acquisitive habits with apt use of time fourthly inquisitive responsiveness bend with educated adaptability maintaining monastic tendency for bearing perseverance and pains taking attitude lack of inferiority and selfish expectant attitude over and above the stage in their normal affair tenor they should have sufficient general education along with speaking power oratorial talent writing capacity and charming exposition msc or ma in philosophy or literature with artistic bend preferable celebrate type is best Sri Thakur has come to Bengal in 1946, 2 September, and he rented a house there, the name of which was Boral Bungalow. It was a single building and nothing else. Some houses are needed to be constructed. In 1963. 2nd December Thakur ji was seated in the parlor in Thakur bungalow and just opposite to this parlor there is a small so small place where Thakur ji intends to build another house namely Nilana Nivesh but the difficulty is this that in that land there is a dalim gas that is pum granite pum granite tree and two cherry trees and a shosna tree these are to be cut down thakur ji is not at all in favor of cutting those trees so the difficulty arises 
what is to be done or not to be done but it is needed to be constructed there the building must be there so one aged lady namely maya mashima who was also a devotee to sisi thakur he came for she came forward she said to sisi thakur that shubhagas should be cut down it branches can be replaced in other places of the ground and we get shujne from that branch also akur ji was astonished and just looking towards maya mashima he suddenly burst out he said what do you say what do you say if the shujne ti would be a daughter in your belly would you be able to cut it my machine was at a loss she was sur- she was surprised then mr khogen topadar and gour mondal da who had in the department of construction of satsang they came and they then the pumgane trees and the two cherry trees with all their root and mud near near about some mounds they just rooted it upwards and take those trees just back of thakur bangalow and place them was at the time i have seen in my own eyes with marts and trees they took it in the paharbari that is in the back side of thakur bangalow and they replaced it in another place so that the tree can grow well there in this way those trees were replaced in a well so thakur ji after this after hearing this thakur ji was appeased he was pleased his anxiety was seized this is sisi thakur what a love for a tree a mother in love oh merciful lord i must pray all the trees can get shelter in the lap of your heart in the lap of you breast this is sisi thakur on full term who has so deep love for trees even in this way this trees has got their life from their merciful father the omnipotent father the beloved god Devanandha Jha was a resident of Devgar. He became the chief minister of Bihar. 8-1-1961 He was a very patronage of Sashram. Often and on, he would come to see Sitakur. Now, the thing which I am going to tell you is that, that, Bilo has is also very known person is also familiar to Krishna Vallabh Sahai who was the governor of Bihar once upon a time i have seen in my own eyes perhaps it was in 1964 or 1965 i am not sure of it still i tell you in mirrorless thakur was sitting and there was huge crowd here and there and also was going on Both of them, Vinodho and Krishna Vallabh Swai, both of them very fatty man. Vinodho was sitting in front of Sisi Thakur. At the same time, Krishna Vallabh Babu was sitting in front of Saku. And there are other people. And I have the opportunity to sit down before Sisi Thakur in the ground, in the Niranivesh. Vinodho walks Sisi Thakur. Thakur. 
I ask you one thing. What is the meaning of politics? <laughs> Brother, he looks Brother on the jha. And Thakur asks me, you just see the dictionary, what is the meaning of politics? Seeing the dictionary, I told Sri Thakur that the word politics has come from Sanskrit Puri. And Puri has come from Pri Dhatu. Pri Dhatu, Pri Root. And Pri Root means to fulfill, to protect, and to nurture. Thakurji then looking to be the one and Krishna Vallabhza who said, Where there is fulfillment, where there is protection, where is there is nourishment, politics lies there. This is my idea about politics. This is the person given to Vinodhavu and Krishna Vallabhsvaya at that time, at that day, by Sesetha Kuruna Kuruchanda. Where there is fulfillment, where there is protection, where there is nourishment, politics lies there. Shiddulali Devi, a young lady, she is very lovely. She was told as a Lakhno Ma, Dulali Ma, Shiddulali Devi. Anyhow, Shiddulali Devi, near about 70-75 years old, she came to Sri Thakur with a stick in her hand, as because she is old. She was coming in the parlor in the evening, and she said to Sri Thakur, Bound down herself. Thakur, I have talked with you. Then Thakur asked, Yes, you can tell. Thakur, I like to go to Dwayal Dham. I like to go to the Supreme Amar, about from where you have come. Thakurji was much pleased and astonished to hear the Words of Dulalima. The throwing of Dulalima was such that it is his Katur Patuna, it is his um, heartiest prayer. The Thakur, I like to go to Dualdham. I want nothing else. I like to go to Dualdham. What shall I do? What I can do? Please tell me. This was his Basna. I like to go to Dualdham. Then Sakur remained silent. She was looking just with a childlike simplicity, with a very simple eyes, Sisitago looks at her. After a moment, he says, whether I should be able to know you at that time or not. Thakur, Dulalima said, I was in Devhar. I was in Pabna. I have cooked so many vegetables for you. Will you not know me at that time? Then what I can do for which you can know me? I will shift Dulali. Then Sisi Thakur says, Repeat the holy name incessantly. Then if I can identify you. This only word, Khub Kore Naam Korbi Jodi Chin Bar Repeat the holy name incessantly, again and again, constantly. Then I may identify you. was pleased and he went away, bowing down to Sisi Thakur. Devi Daya and I was sitting at that time. And I asked Sisi Thakur, Thakur, you asked Dulalima to repeat the holy name, then you may identify her. What is this, Thakur? 
ठाकुर जी लेफ्ट एंड सही हरी से लगा रहो भाई बनत बनत बन जाएगी बी अटैच टू थोरी इफ यू अटैच टू थोरी यू मे गेट द फीट ऑफ थोरी इन द लॉन्ग रन दिस इज द थिंग ठाकुर से एंड अनदर थिंग ही से कैला की मैला छोड़े जब आग करे प्रवेश ठाकुर जी से It is the most scientific name. Once I asked Sister Thakur, "What is the name of the holy name?" Thakur ji ne said, "It is a mechanical composition of vibration through which the creation is created. The holy name is nothing but a mechanical composition of vibration. What is that vibration? Vibration is sound. Vibration is word." Which I bestow upon you all, what to concentrate our mind and how to concentrate. What Sisi Thakur has told when a man takes initiation. Practically, when a man sit erectly, but not stiffly, in a normal way, and in his in his agga chakra that is in the forehead between the junction of the eyes if one repeat repeat this holy name what it will be action in agga chakra we know we have our pineal gland and cerebrum also constant repetition of the holy name holy names means that vibration if we constantly repeat the holy name in our forehead in cerebrum in and pineal gland in the agga chakra that is forehead and in the cerebrum again and again we are hammering this in order to make sound in a dhol we just with a kathi with a small stick we just again and again we hit it we just strike it similarly if we strike here if we repeat the holy name if we give shocking again and again by this holy name then thakur ji say that the cells that the protons that the electrons and the neutrons everything which contains in a cell or everything which contains in the atom from atom cells are formed from cells to atom cells to molecule molecule to atom from atom to electron proton etc thakur ji said if we repeat the holy name again and again the cells being charged and they become sharpen and due to this sharpening tendency due to this due to this sharpness and one can think and one can remember one can see a thing which is in a distance to him his sensitiveness grows his identity capacity grows thakur ji said all the blood cells i have heard in 1964 he has said all the blood cells are even charged in this way
सी सी ठाकुर वॉज अ वेरी वेरी नॉर्मल मैन इज वेरी सिंपल आई कैन नॉट इमेजिन हिज लाफ फॉर आस ऑल इज अ मैन हु लव ईच एंड एवरीबॉडी is mad for man there is a great congregational meeting in devgor sastram ashram sri chopalakanto bhattacharya who is a very eminent man of india he is the member of parliament of india and at the same time he was also a great editor of anandwa bazar पत्रिका हि वज द एडिटर अफ आनंद बजार पत्रिका इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवेन दिक्कत अक्टोबर दैट इज अ सेकेंड डे अफ द कॉन्ग्रेशनल मीटिंग और उत्सव इन देवघर आश्रम हि बिकेम द प्रेसिडेंट अफ दैट मीटिंग एंड ही गेव ए भेरि भेरि नाइस लेक्चर about sisi thakur and his philosophy he said that thakur was mad for man thakur cannot but without man he himself was astonished to see this fathom of love in sisi thakur he brushed out before sisi thakur thakur why do you not advertise about your yogya about your congregational prayer about your so many good things that you are doing for the purpose of humanity you must give advertisement for your works which will be beneficial to all eta ko smile Thakur began to smile, seeing Chopalakan to Babu. Thakur says very, very normally, "I cannot feel anyone other than my relatives. If there is a HS in your left hand, right hand serves you. The right hand never advertises for it, never gives any advertisement for this. So." I could not think anyone other than me. So I need not give any advertisement for my work because I feel everyone. I think everyone as my own man, as my own self. This was the idea of Sri Thakur, and Chopla Kanto was astonished to hear this. the thakur loves so much that he cannot feel anybody month of october 1962 in the morning sisi thakur was seated in thakur bangla in white space go through the paper and find that there was a tussle going between russia and america cuba is a small country who is a friend of russia Russian military force, military equipments, many radar, etc. were deposited. Were deposited in Cuba through the Atlantic Ocean. 
America was afraid of this. America thought that Cuba is a nearer country of America. The distance of Cuba and America is very small. America thought that Russia may fought against us. As the missiles were deposited in Cuba by Russian soldiers and Russian government, so the America was determined to flourish the little country Cuba by their missiles and other serious bombs. So, a fleet was being moved by American soldiers through the Atlantic Ocean. The fleet is coming. It was announced in the paper. We heard it. And Russia also thought that if Cuba is disturbed, I shall not let America be free from this fight. I shall also root out the American fleets. I shall, I shall also burn the fleet of America. So, Russia also started a fleet against the fleet of America rushed towards Thakur Banglo and said to Thakur, Thakur, there is no other alternative way but, but a fight. America is a tiger and Russia is a lion. We shall see a fight between a lion and a tiger. That is, the Russian soldiers and the American soldiers will fight each other, centering Cuba only. What is the way out? What is the remedy, Thakur? Within a few hours, Russia have atom bombs, America has, has also atom bombs. Within few hours, the whole world will be destructed by these atomic bombs. So, Thakur, what is the remedy? What do you think? Thakurji was taking his hookah and he was smiling, looking the anxiety of Mr. Hauserman. After a while, Suji Thakurji looked at Hauserman and said, What is the age of Kushchev? How old is Kushchev? It is 63, 64 like, Hauserman said, that the age of Kushchev is 63, 64. What is the age of President Kennedy? How the said he was 43, 44. Thakur says Russia Khrushchev is older than Kennedy. Kennedy is a young boy, young brother. And Khrushchev in this respect is much aged. He is the elder brother. A younger brother, with his all his humble submission, can approach to his elder brother, President Khrushchev, that Dada, my dear brother, my brother, my respected brother, you please don't do so. This is the difficulty, this is the problem. You please solve the problem. You please help us. A brother can request his elder brother about this. So Thakurji says, the younger brother can easily 
confess or can surrender before the elder brother about his problem and can tell about his necessities. To my Thakurji, whole world is one. He has no difference. He don't find any difference between Russia and America. The trouble between Russia and America, the trouble between Tibet and Chin, the trouble between America and Iraq, the trouble between Israel and Palestine can be easily solved when they are bounded with love to each other. So, Sisi Thakur says that let us have a tie of love, let us have a bond of love. This love can conquer everything. Force and rules cannot conquer right, but love can conquer right with all his forces. But force can conquer right also without love. The meaning is this, that one should apply love to have his own right, but not the force, not the envious thing which should not be applied. This is the idea of Sisi Thakur. Mr. Bob Cumming, an American educationist, he is B. Phil. He is a friend of Mr. Hauserman, who was a disciple of Sisi Thakur Mr. Bob Cumming has come to India in 1964. He was staying in Saheb Banglo, that is Okhoi city, just opposite to Dag Banglo of Deoghar, Rohini Road. Thakur asked me to edit the English messages. Those have been published from volume 2 to volume 9, that is 8 volumes in English. I have the opportunity to talk with him and to get through all the messages, more than 2,000 above, with him. Anyhow, Bob Cumming was much impressed by the philosophy of Sakur and he was a, practically he was a friend of us. All the Shastrangis would love him very much. Uh, one day, that is on the 27th August 1964, in the evening, Sushil Chandra Bosuda, the president of Shastrang, was sitting in near Nivesh. And Bob Cumming has come at the time and prayed to Sisi Thakur, Thakur, I like to be initiated. 
শ্রী ঠাকুর আর সুশীলদা টু গিভ হিম ইনিশিয়েশন আফটার টেকিং ইনিশিয়েশন বকামিং কামস টু শ্রী ঠাকুর উইথ এ ফোল্ডেড হ্যান্ড অ্যান্ড এ মুন বিগ মুন স্টোন ইন ইজ হ্যান্ড হি নীলস ডাউন বিফোর শ্রী শ্রী ঠাকুর অ্যান্ড সেইজ দিস ইজ মাই দীক্ষা প্রাণামিজ দিস মুন স্টোন ইউ প্লিজ অ্যাকসেপ্ট ইট it was a very big moonstone thakur ji look looks at that and he asks bob coming to give it to boroma that is thakur's wife she is thakur's wife bob coming has taken that moonstone in his hand and gave it to sisi boroma just at the same house of nirani nivesh There are two rooms. In one Sisi Thakur would sit and in another one Sisi Borma would sit. They can sit together even. There is a window and there is a passage also. Big passage also by which they can see each other. Anyhow, when Bob Cumming has given this moonstone to Sisi Borma, Borma cried out, what is this? What is this? It is so big, so big, so lighted, so lighted. Bob Cumming was much pleased and he went away after some after some days bob comes says what is the consequence of loving a guru then says it have to say one thing which i cannot forget even if you love your guide if you love your guru your eyes will say that i love guru your nose will say that i love guru your face will say that i love guru everything your whole body will say that you love guru you are for the lord and not for others